This is our sweet papa, Ziggy. Ziggy Stardog. Zigasaur. Zagreus. Ziggington Dog. He's five months old. And he is a lovely little whippet. But he wasn't always. Let's rewind a few months. The month is May of 2020. Boris Johnson has assured us that you we must stay at home. home. So we did. But we needed something, anything, to fill the dark existential void. We tried the sourdough starter kit. Nothing. New cycling hobby? Too freezing up here in the Arctic Lothians. There was only one thing that could save us from the existential crisis that could redeem the apocalyptic nightmare of 2020. Get that good boy. I just met you and I love you. Now, we owned a dog before. An adorable, sweet, very, very sleepy greyhound. A legend amongst canines. She was, it was fair to say, too large for our flat. Especially when she would charge Formula One pace down our hall. But she was a gentle giant, affectionate, chilled out, loving. Sadly, she died suddenly last year. So we thought we were prepared for all things dog, but it's fair to say that getting a puppy is trickier. The first difficulty was simply getting one. Lockdown was rife with rogue dog traders, exorbitant prices, massive waiting lists, months of checking rescue websites, registering with breeders. The lockdown dog market had gone wild. But finally, we found him. A video WhatsApp call confirmed that he was the boy for us, one of the chill ones of the litter, with a sweet little mask. We went to meet him, and I was like, Can we keep him, please, please, please? <laughs> so we took him home. He's coming home. He's coming home. An exciting, adorable, lively few days ensued. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? But sweet, hmm. More like howling, manic, sleep depriving, anxious. Just like Disney warned us, the first few days of getting a puppy are exhausting. You'll toy with the morals of returning him. You'll quietly sob at 3am on a sleepless night. You'll barely survive a workday with brain cells still intact. But it gets better. Lockdown makes things easier. You're always there, at home, catching him peeing or chewing or pooing in the wrong place. Good boy. But it makes it harder for that good boy to get used to you being out of the house when there's nowhere for you to go. Or for him to get used to new places where there's nowhere new for him to go. We're working on it. As the weeks flew by, Ziggy stretched out, going from sweet generic pup, a round blob with legs, to distinctive, pointy, super cute whippet every passing day stretching his limbs a little more. He had his first walk, his first snow, he stopped weeing in the house, and he still sleeps for like most of the day. A snoozy papa. He knows all kinds of tricks like spin, and paw, and go through my legs for some reason. See, after about a month of having him, we realized something. For all the effort, the whining and the howling, it had worked we'd made a new best friend for life. A life of snoozing and zooming and snoozing some more. Our dog, Ziggy.